bad storm. Bad storms. Look at that. What's going on, everybody? Gus One Bear. Happy Memorial Day. We're out here in Key Largo. We're going to be heading out to the Alamorada Sandbar, and we're going to be meeting some of our friends. We started off the Saturday morning by meeting George and his family from the Keys Boating Channel. <laughs> he said he'd follow you. All right. And we're heading down to the Isla Mirada Sandbar to meet Ariel from Miami Living 305. We're almost there. We're going underneath the Will Harbor Channel Bridge. We arrived about 11.20 in the morning. Looking around, this place was already getting packed. Ariel from Miami Living 305 was already there and he had a couple spots for us. So I was the first to make the attempt to ease it on back. We were waiting for George to pull next to us, but he wasn't able to because the water was too shallow for his draft. So needless to say, George did not stick around. So where is George? Beautiful day. Have a near <laughs> so Ariel and I, we decided to walk around and we wanted to document this amazing day and film the party goers celebrating their Memorial Day weekend. It's two o'clock in the afternoon and the place is packed. We decided to get on Ariel's boat and check out the scenery from there. Isla Morada Sandbar is known for large gatherings and wild parties. Most of the time, regular weekends, when it's not a holiday weekend, it's really not all that bad. But what makes Isla Morada Sandbar so popular, apart from the party scene? Well, you have the white sand, the cool Atlantic water, and when the tide is going out, you have the beautiful beach area where the kids love to play, and an awesome place for your pets to go run around. But the worst time to come visit the sandbar, especially if you have family and you're taking your little ones with you on this holiday weekend, like Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day weekend. These three holiday weekends, for sure, it's gonna get slam packed and it's gonna get wild. And there's no telling what bad behaviors your children are gonna pick up. <laughs> All joking aside, is Isla Mirada Sandbar a family-oriented place? It can be, but folks, remember, it gets packed, and it, some people don't like that. Some people like to just chill out without the big crowd. head on out we finally found an opening as you all know once you commit to stay out there you're out there pretty much all day because you get blocked in so we finally found an opening about seven o'clock or so so we made the attempt to get out and we headed on over to this little spot on the other side by founders park called cow's pens anchorage
So yesterday was great up until about maybe three o'clock in the afternoon. Then we got the first bad storm through. That pulled us off anchor. So we had to float around and get situated with that and to hang out again for a while. And then last night, um, I don't know, it was about maybe 8.30, 9 o'clock. Um, come through again, pulled us off anchor again. <laughs> So at that point, I'm like, you know what, we're right here next to Founders. Let's just go in and see if there's room at the dock. It's not worth it. It got really rough out there. So um, it's about 5.30 in the morning. We're going to get things situated. And then um, as soon as the sun comes up, we're going to head back north um, to our home base around Gilbert's. We made it. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the boat, head on home. It's been a crazy weekend. So happy Memorial Day. Y'all stay safe. And you're watching Two Bears Outdoors. From the sandbar. I think that was the boat that was next to us. Yeah, folks, when you have a wrap, this is the, uh, this is the reality of it. They're awesome. They look great. But you're going to get dings. Next time we won't be in the action. We'll kind of anchor somewhere away from all the boats. When you're out in a holiday like that on the sandbar. You're going to have people running into you constantly. And here we go. The casualties. 